It is a rare but welcomed rainy morning on Don Smith's East Texas ranch. We're happy to have a morning like this this time of the year, yeah. The ground is just so dry that we can get two inches of rain and in 24 hours, the moisture's just gone down. The state has been battling drought since 2010 and ranchers like Mr. Smith are struggling to hang on. We need to have a good normal rainfall year and we need to have grain prices come down. So grain prices are what's uh, really killing us now. Without rain, ranchers can't grow enough grass to make the hay that feeds their livestock. Instead, many have had to buy feed. But the ongoing drought in the Midwest has sent hay and grain prices skyrocketing. In 2011, we spent probably 60% more for feed than we spent uh, in, in 2009. And that's happening all over. And so we've dipped into savings. We've burned equity with older cows that we've sold. The U.S. cattle herd is at its lowest level in 60 years. Nowhere is that more apparent than in Texas, the largest cattle producing state in the U.S. There's a few little bandits here. They're coming over in this field and they like to go under the fence right there. Mr. Smith has had to reduce his herd by 15 percent. We've managed to feed our cows. We, uh, you know, take care of them. But a lot of people have uh, just hung it up. And, and a lot of these people will never go back in the cow business. They'll lease their places to somebody or just cut hay off of it. There's an awful lot of people that's worried about the sustainability of the beef industry in this country. Something's going to have to change pretty soon. Good cattle production and wildlife can work hand in hand. It doesn't have to be an either or. In Blooming Grove, about 50 miles south of Dallas, Gary and Sue Price have spent the past 30 years restoring native grass species on their ranch. My son says if you take care of the grass, it'll take care of you. And um, there's no truer statement. This is pretty good, you know, for in a drought. The Price Ranch is a rarity in the beef industry. They've kept their herd of 200 cows intact. We've been fortunate that we did not have to uh, sell any cattle during the drought and really with very little feed. Those native grasses, if they're taken care of, will provide a lot of uh, winter feed when in the dormant stage for those cattle. Mr. Price's conservation efforts and grazing system also preserves the water supply by preventing runoff. Those grasses, uh, of course, have very deep root systems. In flood stage, they actually uh, lay down and form almost like a basket weave to protect the ground. And um, we can never control how much rain we get, but there are a lot of things that we can do to control how much water we keep. The Prices have won several awards for their land management practices. It may not work for every ranch because each ranch has its own set of resources and circumstances and challenges, but it certainly worked for us. Back in Sulphur Springs, Don Smith is hoping for more rain. If we have another dry year this year, we're gonna really have to look at our whole card to see whether or not we wanna continue in this business. Uh, we've just burned too much equity and at our age, why, there's not much opportunity to rebuild equity. Uh, you just can't do it.